driving home from work today. Well, I'm not all the way done. It's lunchtime. And it's been crazy at work. But besides the point, at Walmart we're actually having a Modern Warfare 3 tournament. Now that's going to be fun. Why, you may ask. Hmm, why? I don't get to be in it, sadly. Um, it's Spec Ops, though, so it doesn't really count as what being a, like, player versus player tournament. Which I think is good because players can get mad at other players and then violence just abruptly breaks out and you're like, why are you guys fighting? And they're like, because he knifed me in the back. I'm like, that's what you kind of have to expect from Call of Duty. But I mean, all these games are coming out this, this month, this wonderful, glorious month of November. And I mean, everyone is just going crazy. Everyone. So, like, I've had people almost fight over... We had people fight over Battlefield 3. Oh, that was a beautiful fight. Oh, it was... Because it was the last limited edition one. Limited edition. Mm -hmm. So... And then we have Skyrim coming out. That is going to be a beautiful game. Easily, easily a long while of gameplay, of course. I mean, we've estimated that easily Skyrim is going to take a good 40 hours just to barely scratch the surface of the full story. Because, of course, you know, you can play through the whole story and everything, but what's the fun of that? you got to do some side quests. Come on, this ain't Dragon Age 2. This is Skyrim. We do it right. Okay? None of this World of Warcraft, oh, I'm a night elf warrior. No, man, you are a dragon slayer. Awesome dude. And ain't no one messing with you. No one. Mm-mm. So that's why. Why are you doing a U-turn? What are you for? Come on, drive the right way, person. Okay. So then we have Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 is going to be huge. I mean, at the Battlefield 3 um, opening night, it was hilarious because what happened? Huh? I went to the midnight release at Walmart, and there was four people there. Now. I got my own copy of the limited edition one, which was beautiful, and I played it at night. But the problem about Battlefield 3 is you don't want to really play that game at night. Now, the gameplay itself is awesome to play at night, you know, just playing with all the lights out. And oh my gosh, that's going to take a while. So the gameplay itself at night is actually very nice to do. Um, but the opening sequence just takes forever and honestly it can give you a seizure if you guys have seen the gameplay you know exactly what i'm talking about the opening is just a bunch of flashing lights and i think i almost gave myself a seizure when i played it that was horrible just saying and so but other than that you know Mo battlefield 3 i think is better than black ops now, you can send me hate mail and all that stuff, but Battlefield 3 is better than Black Ops. Will it be Modern Warfare 3? Eh, probably not. Modern Call of Duty has a huge following, way bigger than Modern Warfare, or that big, way bigger than Battlefield 3 will ever have. I'm sorry, but it's true. They make a great game. They honestly do. Let's turn around. Bang! I just turned. And then, we're turning again! Ow! And so, yeah, a lot of good games coming out this month. And then we had Ratchet and Clank All for One, which is beautiful. Um, very fun game, but only for PS3. So, anyway, so do you guys think that they should just make, like, Call of Duty for like just one system, or do you like them having all games for all systems? I don't know. It's up to you. Answer. Let me know.